Well, uh, first, uh, th yeah, thank for the introduction. I will uh, give a bit more explanation about who we are. Um, as Benjamin said, we're a student organ we're an organization that links students to the company. We're a non-profit student organization that aims to help our fellow students find the perfect internship that, um, that they're looking for. And the other way around, of course, find the perfect <coughs> intern for the right business because it's all about finding the right match. And a uh, fun story about why we are here. We did that for TMC. Um, TMC was looking for an intern in internal communication. And when we called him, when Benjamin picked up the phone, we could immediately, immediately tell that he was interested in our services and in working together to find the perfect person for uh, improving the internal communication. And <coughs> after that, after we found the perfect person, he asked us, to give you guys uh, a presentation about why interns are so important for every business. Startups, big companies, it doesn't matter. There always are upsides to interns. Um, and if I may ask you a question, if you are looking for the perfect team, what is the first thing you are looking for in your personnel? They add something to uh, the daily business. In what way? Um, uh, in my uh, opinion, in the staff in, uh, in a recruitment way, for instance. Yes. Okay, that's one point. Um, what do you think is a great uh, addition in uh, your personal? Um, what are you looking for in the person itself? Uh, I guess a social person that uh, can talk. That can talk? Yeah, of course. Um, well, I think that are two bo both are great qualities. Uh, I think there are also some pitfalls you might fall into. Uh, that's the wrong way. Um, I think the first thing you should be looking for is someone who is enthusiastic about everything, about your business, about what you are doing, and who can add something in his own way by being enthusiastic about personal uh, human resources, about everything, basically. Um, a pitfall for startups specifically is that you are aiming to find only experience while that gives you a big advantage, but it should not be the only thing you're looking for. Uh, you might have a lack of knowledge, you might have the right persons, but not all the knowledge you need to really run your business at the maximum of your capabilities. And uh, conflict of interest is very dramatic, but um, it happens. Um, how can an intern help you with all those points? Uh, first, uh, an intern can help you have a broad perspective. Um, sir, if I may ask, what was the first thing you did when you got up this morning? Um, eating my breakfast. Eating your breakfast. Have a cup of coffee. Cup of tea in my case. Cup of tea, take a shower. What did you do yesterday, the first time you got out of bed? Basically the same thing, right? Went to bed, you think? Nay, after you got out of bed. Okay. Basically the same thing, right? Same thing, yes. Yeah, and that's that's normal. It's human. It's habit. It's habit, and um, that is very good in those cases. But in running business, it is also uh, a pitfall, maybe, because when you are only doing things in um, on autopilot, you lose focus on what opportunities are left outside of your tunnel vision. And when you involve uh, an intern who isn't polluted by the branch itself or by uh, company culture or something like that, he has a broad perspective and he starts questioning the little things, the, the daily things. And to be innovative is all about keeping a broad perspective and questioning things, sharing things, asking things. And it gives you uh, all kind of things. From, it gives you a bit of a, a reason to think about all those things. From, are we doing this to the best of our abilities? And an intern can help you with opening the eyes about the, those things. Um, I actually, uh, the True Talent uh, team from uh, the previous presentation has an intern in the board because he can bring uh, for some uh, innovative ideas by questioning what's already there. And uh, Peter sees the, the added value of those interns in such a position. And we think that that's the perfect position to keep innovating in your branch and in your, with your company. 
Um, another thing, uh, students are very flexible, and I do mean that in another way than flexible is in the English language. Uh, a student is basically a, b a blank page. Um, as I said, he isn't polluted by the branch. Um, he starts working, he starts his professional career at your own business, and therefore he is, you can fill him in the way you want. Uh, he, he gets to know the, the company culture, um, all the managers, uh, you, can, you can basically fill him in as you like. He, uh, he is there for the first time, he doesn't know how everything goes around in the branch. In the business where he starts, it's basically his home for his professional career. And since that is his home, he, um, he feels comfortable around there. And actually, 36% um, of students, internship, interns, start working at the company where they did their first intern. And that is because of they have this warm lead. They know everything around there. Everything feels common, everything feels natural. So they feel, they feel in a comfort zone. And the medium of every relationship between the uh, employee eventually and the employer lasts about five years. And I think that's a big, that, that's a long term, a long period of time to have an, uh, an addition to your staff because you have already checked them out as an intern you know what he's capable of, and therefore, you know what you can expect. And I think there are all great qualities of why you, can, you should hire an intern and then offer him a job if he lives up to it. And I think that's also a great example of why interns can always help you, even for long periods of time. Even for the long run, they are an addition to your team, to your company, and to your, to your business. Um, a great example for that is uh, Edwin Miltenberg. Um, he started four years, five years ago at TMC as a uh, graduate uh, intern. Um, he did the Gadget Catch It, the gadget, catch it Crane, a uh, project that never reached the market, but I think was uh, quite exciting. It was about uh, reaching uh, the back of the audience without leaving the stage, um, because the crane could do that. Um, but still, a nice thing to show around. And uh, he did a great job. He uh, left TMC, uh, did, he was roaming around the market for a few years. Uh, and since a year, he's back at TMC because of those warm leads, because he felt comfortable, and because he thinks TMC, where he started, is the right place to be right now. And that's all because he started his intern period at TMC. Um, Another great thing about students is uh, you might have missing knowledge in your company. Um, I think you are mostly technical around here. Um, if I may ask, do you know something about marketing? Not much. In-depth knowledge? Not much, right? Well, you, there are two options to get that. It's hiring an extremely expensive company that's expert in that. But if you have a case or something like that, you want to know something a student can do, the cheaper option is hiring an intern. Because interns should have the knowledge. They are still in school. They learn the most relevant things right now. That means they should basically know all the, um, all the trends that are going on right now and have the knowledge to fill them in for you, to do the market research or anything you need from that. Even so, marketing is the most dynamic part of running business, I think so. And a student should definitely be the right person to do that if you have a case for him, if you can stimulate him to, if you give him an end goal. And I think that a student with 300 euros a month or something like that is way cheaper than a big company that probably will cost around thousands of euros to give you the same result. Um, I also have an, uh, an uh, example of that. Uh, Bram Vlieks is uh, the student that start work, started working at TMC um, through us. He uh, did something for the internal communications, as I said before. Um, not really the core business of TMC. By far not the core business of TMC. But still, he did a good job. 
and he got offered a job um, afterwards. <coughs> and uh, right now he's finishing his master, but after that he uh, will probably return. And uh, he has confirmed that already to Benjamin and to us um, because we still are in touch with him. And uh, I think that's also a good example of how someone who is not in your branch can add knowledge that you don't have yourself to your company for a cheap ride. Um, another thing about interns, interns are motivated. Um, if I can catch you in the mindset, uh, if, you're an, if you're a student, I don't know how long have you, uh, how long is it ago that you graduated? Two years. Three years? Uh, two years. Two years? You're currently working? Okay. As a student, what was your first thought about uh, going to the market? You were, you were studying like 20 years, something like that? Sorry? You've been studying 20 years before you graduated, something like that? Yeah, I guess, yeah. So, yeah, some around that, I don't know, the master in uh, technology might be a little longer <laughs> than uh, my own. But um, as a student, I can confirm that the thing I missed was mostly the connection to the business. I don't know, is the same with you? I'm sorry, I didn't really follow the... The connection from your study to running business, to the company life. There is a missing link, right? Yeah. From your study. Yeah. And every student has this feeling, everyone, uh, at any university. And that means they want to get involved in running business. They want to get the knowledge from how to do things in real life instead of only having the, the knowledge and learning something more. But you've been doing that for 20 years. So if you get offered the opportunity to start at a company that really speaks to you, that speaks to your mind, and also learns you a lot along the way, that motivates getting, getting knowledge from doing things and really doing what you love motivates. And the student is always trying to prove he's worth to, what he's worth to your company. So he's, he has, he's enormously driven to l deliver result. And that also means if you put someone like that in your team, the entire team gets affected because he's fresh, he's new, he, he wants to learn, he's, he's questioning everybody about well, how can I do this better? And everyone wants to know what, everyone wants to tell what they know. So it, it, it gives a drive to the entire team to hire an intern and put it in your winning team, as uh, Peter told you all about. Um, an example for that is uh, Fabian Brunning. Um, he started at the Global Orb, uh, no, the Orb Server, Orb Server project. Uh, it was about drones. Uh, got shut down because of all legal matters. Uh, I'm sure you will be told a bit <coughs> Later on, after my presentation, uh, you, yeah, Lotte will tell you all about it. Um, but he, he got shut down, he, he did a project, a um, bit of a bummer, but he kept going. I think he's working four to five years at TMC right now, and he finished like four projects along the way. It's extremely motivated, I think, and worth mentioning, because that's just a sign of motivation and keeping going. Um, so in conclusion, what have I told you? Um, students are perfect for fresh, uh, a fresh perspective. Uh, I think students are the best way to keep an open mind about all opportunities that there are. Uh, Long-term enhancement for your business because they, keep, they stick around after their intern. It's, yeah, as I told you, 36% uh, uh, takes the job they get offered after the internship. Um, it's a bit of additional knowledge for a cheap price, uh, which is always a good thing, I think. And they're practically the most driven employees you have. Um, if there are any questions, I would gladly uh, take a few. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>